Hey, welcome to the Witch's House. So, um, this is my first recording doing it in college. I'm in my dorm right now. My roommate's out studying somewhere. My sweet mates might be in the bathroom right now, or at least one of them. Hopefully they won't be bothered by this or anything. Um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm, <laughs> I'm really tired right now. I stayed up till like five last night doing my math homework. Anyway, um, Witch's House. So this is a, this is a really good game. It's really pretty. Um, it's got, it's got some good scares in it. The soundtrack's beautiful, as you might be hearing right now. Um, let's start. I'll talk about it more on the way. So we got our uh, kitty friend here. You're up in anime. That's a bad voice. I'm sorry. A uh, human shouldn't be out here. Too dangerous. Alright, so we save on the kitty cat. So if we look at our RPG menu here, we see that we are playing as a little girl named Viola, 13 years old. Um, HP 10 out of 10. I just got a text from a friend. I'll reply to that later. Um, okay, so this is a letter we found in our pocket. Um, it's the second half of a letter, actually. We'll find the first half later. Don't worry about it too much. Um, mind if you go to our house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Alright, so our dad's looking out for us. Um, we run with space, yeah. It's been a little while since I played this. I think. Got a machete. Let's go kill some bitches. So the plot is basically this. Um, you may have noticed that there's a big patch of roses here. Uh, by the way, I really love roses. They're like my favorite flower. They're so cool. Um, anyway, so ways blocked by a startling huge patch of roses. The machete, using the machete on that does nothing. And that's our only way out of this forest area. So what we have to do is um, got to find another way out of the forest or we got to find a way to get rid of those roses. I'm gonna go to dinner after this. I hope I have time. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. Hey, kitty. Huh? What is it? What if I gave him, like, a French accent? Hmm, so see way out is blocked up by roses. You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. Okay, uh, there are two endings to this game, technically four, but one of them is just one of the two endings with more information, and that's uh, gotten by doing a no-save run of the game. And I really don't want to risk doing that, especially since I want to like show you guys some of the deaths. So hey, this room changed. Yo! Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck did you come out from? I really hope I'm doing an actual French accent. Um, oh yeah. Well, I forgot to show you guys that death, but um, in that room, if you step on the red patch, you get slammed to pieces by the wall. By the walls. What was I saying? Oh yeah, endings. So, it, yeah, so ending number three involves one of the first two endings, but with more information by doing a no-save run, and I don't want to risk doing that. Um, which is diary. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Ah, boo-hoo. Um, Okay, we're gonna take that. Okay. Now the fourth ending involves literally just standing in front of the house for an hour. You're not allowed to click outside the window. Uh, opens when the house door returns, returns to normal. We'll come back here later. You're not allowed to click outside the window. You're not allowed to move. And then the game will just end. I'll, ex I mean, I'll explain why later. Now the first two endings, we're only going to get one of the endings of the two because I don't see much point in doing the first one. The second one involves like showing you like what's really been going on and all that jazz, and that involves going back here in the final scene and grabbing a certain item. So you'll find out about all that later. <laughs> Fuck you. You'll find out about all that later. I like this house. It's like really pretty. It's got all the flowers here. Da da da. Pair of scissors chained to the workbench bench so we can't take them. Uh, that door's locked. What was I doing? Oh yeah, teddy bear. Um, hold on. So, 
as it says later in the game, keys don't op keys don't open doors in this house. Uh, why did I do that? Um, you have to solve puzzles in order to open doors, and it, the puzzle might involve a key, but the key doesn't isn't used on the door. Uh, bears in the basket. So if we try to put our teddy bear in here, it's too big. So we're gonna have to go to the scissors on the workbench. Yo. It's a good idea to save often in horror games, I find, or like, you know, save it every every opportunity. Because like, especially with new ones, you never know when you're gonna die. Shit like this, like, some games, like, they have script death scenes where you could possibly only die two or three times in the game, depending on what path you choose. Um, they do that in Mermaid, in Mermaid Swamp, but I'd like to show that off sometime. Um, and other games by Uri, like The Crooked Man with David and uh, The Sandman, etc. So we're gonna cut off the bear's limbs here. Anyway, but then there are games like The Witch's House, where like, just throughout anything can kill you. Oh hey, there's blood on the scissors. Anyway. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Things get spooky over here. It's red where its limbs were. That's good to know. Heard an unlocking sound. Okay, so that opens the door. And if we look at the note now. So the house kind of helps us out by putting notes around. That basket moved. We're going to ignore that. Um, and the notes give you hints on what to do. Okay. And three, two, one, run. So basically, not only can random things often kill you in this game, but you're probably going to get a chance to die after every puzzle you solve. I'm not sure how my voice sounds right now, I'm wearing headphones so that the audio doesn't pick up on the mic. That probably sound horrible, I'm sorry. Uh, teddy bear limbs. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna use them later. Um, Cut off with scissors. The insides are fleshy. That's good to know. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, da da. Okay, so we got some notes here. Taste poison. So those little notes also sometimes help, but sometimes they're just like, mm, yeah, I'm not gonna listen to that. Fireplace. Uh... Yeah, let's look inside. Why not? I am tired as fuck. Um. So this is probably the poison, so before we taste it, we're going to... Jeez, you freaked me out! Don't come out of nowhere like that! Uh, give me a sec. Alright, that's a bit better. Um... Oh, oh yeah, saving. Um... Okay, so we're gonna go back here, and we're gonna listen to what the note says, and... We're going to taste the poison and see what it does. <sighs> Viola was poisoned. Um, I should probably turn down the volume if I can. Yeah, this this is good. Okay, so we were poisoned, and the door that we need to go through is unlocked, but before we can get there, we die. So we're gonna continue where we saved at the kitty, the French kitty. Um, okay, so tasting the poison isn't the correct solution here. Some ketchup bottles. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the cook is busy, lend a hand. So that note helps us out a little bit. Um, Alright, I like the Sith, so I'm just gonna show it a little bit. Uh, this one's gonna be... Can I do a German accent? I'm gonna try for like Irish or Irish or something. Um, <clears throat> ah, I'm busy, so busy. I'm trying to figure out how to do an Irish accent. Sorry, give me a sec. Oh, thank you. The invisible person grabs your arm. Yeah, I don't know why they're like invisible servants in this game. They push your wrist onto the cutting board. Hey, lend a hand. Puns. Deadly puns. A hand is exactly what I needed. 
Yay! Okay. Here we go. Okay, so lend a hand, but we, this time we're gonna hand over the teddy bear lips. Hey, hand over! Get it? It's a pun. Anyway. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if this is Scottish or Irish. I've. I'm just gonna pretend it's. It's it's both. Let me show my appreciation. We got a silver key. So once again, like you know, we try the ew. I squished a bug. Ew! Stop that. Um, we try the if we try the key on the door, it doesn't work. So we're gonna have to do something else with the key. This book will give us a hint. Uh, Downing of aristocrats. Okay, aristocrats. We're gonna read this in an English accent if I can. <laughs> People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard to clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, several utensils change colour co upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. I'm not entirely sure I've ever talked face to face with an actual British person in my life. My main knowledge of England comes from Harry Potter, to be honest. Um, Anyway, so silver changes color upon contact with poison, so we're gonna wait. It's a nice sound. So we're gonna put the key in the soup and wait for it. Three, two, one. There we go. I think the poison thing is true, which is like really- there was something there, we're going to ignore that. Which is like really interesting to me, because like I wonder what kind of chemical reaction causes that. Does it work with all poison? Is that, like, do all poisons share some kind of similar compound that makes silver change color upon contact with it? Um... A decorative cut ornament. Gotcha! Um, yeah, this door's locked. Small text on the door. Save the butterfly. Okay, we're gonna do that. In a really roundabout way. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, silver and poison. So, I don't know, that's really neat to me. I'm gonna look that up later, actually. It's, it seems really cool. Oh, yeah, uh, um, uh, this death is... I like this death, but, like, look away if you have arachnophobia or something. Okay, so, uh, the spider has poor eyes, he can't even tell colors apart. That's a hint for later. Um, nothing of note here. So, if we save the butterfly like this... Mmm... That was fun. Alright, let's uh, try that again. So we can't take the butterfly like that, but if the spider can't tell colors apart, we're gonna use that to that ad we're gonna use that to our advantage later. Now in here there's something we need yep. I like how that barrel's like obvious in a in a indent or something. Rope in a barrel. Okay, we're gonna use that rope for our own devices. Hey kitty. I'm tempted to call this cat Chat Noir since I gave him a French accent, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, so we have some little books here. The Witch's House 1. Keys do not open- yeah, this is what I was talking about. Witch's House 2. The form of the house changes based upon the witch's magic. Alright then. I mean, uh, whatever. Alright. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart had broken down in the woods, but there came a passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly, mo el elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the man returned, he sought the dog on guard. Ooh, spoopy noises. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it! So the master killed the dog. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking bitch. Um, yeah, yeah that- it's like, come on, why, why do you have to have stories where the dog dies? Alright, Amir. Nothing spoopy about that. Well, there was something spoopy about it after all. Okay, newspaper article. Um, blank residence burns down. Blank and his wife Blank were found dead in the wreckage. 
Their bodies were found to have stab wounds, so it was suspected they were murdered and the building then set aflame. <laughs> Why not kill them twice? Additionally, Blank's only daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. The police... whatever. Now, if we look in the mirror now... Spoopy. I sent shenanigans afoot. Now, if you do the no save run of this game, this room gradually fills it with more and more books you can read, like information about the witch's house and cool things like demons. Do do do. A flowers for love roses. God, I should play Eve soon on this. I'm gonna do that soon. Okay, invisible person. Okay. Ooh, accent time. Um. Sorting at these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. Alright, so they just tie them together. Smooth piece of rope. Ah, you're giving me this. Give rope. Thank you. Take this. I was trying for Italian. I probably fucked it up. Okay, we got a book of death. Uh, should we read it? We're... Yeah, you better run. Okay, so we saved, so we're going to read the Book of Death. The front cover seems safe, but reading the contents... <sighs> My sister just texted me. Get, give me a sec, I'm gonna respond to this. She's texting me a stupid comic. Oh my god. Okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, continue. Uh, yeah, so reading the Book of Death is not okay. Uh, I'm gonna save again because I'm a... <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Okay, so... Now there's something we need, but can't take, the, take it because... Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Um, thank you for that. Yeah, so the case is locked right now, so we're gonna have to do something to unlock it. But once again, like, keys won't work. Um, nice painting. I forgot what I was doing for a sec, sorry. Um, okay, a book's missing. Well, we have a book. Okay, so we're not gonna read it, we're gonna put it on the shelf. Uh, this, uh, like, th this scene coming up is a chase scene, and I really don't like it because it's actually kind of tricky. Okay. Careful. Like, I often die on this part. This is partially why I don't want to do a no safe run. Right then. Okay, and save that so we don't have to go through that shit again. Um, okay, I'm gonna respond to my friend. Um, night, I'm reading this text aloud on. YouTube, you will be famous. Uh, she'll figure it out later. Anyway, uh, so we took care of that, so we're going to go back in here, and as is typical with horror RPGs, um, the monster's gone when we open the door again. Okay, so we're going to take this. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, this door's locked for some reason. Okay, save on the key to get. Okay, so the spider's gonna attack us if we take the butterfly, but since the spider's eyes were poor, we're going to replace the butterfly with the model. And that's that. Okay, the door's unlocked now.
Thank you. Okay, this door's unlocked too. Well, I'm not touching that one. All right, um, don't think there's anything more for us here, so we're gonna go find Kitty again and see what fresh hell awaits us. What items do I have? Uh, just a letter, okay. So these are called jute bags, and I still don't remember, like, what exactly a jute bag is or what makes it different from a regular bag. Okay, careful here. Okay, and yeah, I've had practice. Yep, a jute bag, you can see a small tear in it. We're gonna look inside. It's full of dead cats. Again, we'll see why later. Hello, kitty. Yo! By the way, this is a witch's house. You knew that? Right, right. I hope my sweetmates aren't, like, overhearing me or anything, because that would be really awkward to explain. Boss of Roses. Um, yeah, this is... That's way too thin to cross. We're not even going to touch that. Do you like frogs? I love frogs. I must have, like, poisonous, but I still like them. They're, they're cute. They're cute. Come on. Now, toads are assholes. Like, I'm not saying they're... Like, I mean, toads are alright, but like... Uh, they're kind of assholes. Was I thinking of a bullfrog? I was probably thinking of a bullfrog. I'm sorry. Apologies to all toads in the world. A lost frog searching for his home. Aww. Okay, so frog friend's gonna help us. Boy, boy. Yeah, he loves us. Hello. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot today, I don't know why. Okay, um... Make a mirror image, alright. There's a puzzle similar to this in Mad Father, except you have to make the rooms identical, not a mirror image. So let's get to work here. Um... Now you may remember the newspaper article we looked at in the in the library room. Um, it mentioned a girl named Ellen. So what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So Ellen is the name of the witch who owns this house. Fossil six roses. All oh, right. Roses. I love them. Yeah. So Ellen's the witch in. That's the name of the witch. Um, I guess it's spoiler free, so I'm just gonna explain like what the deal was with witches and how they work in this in this universe. Um, hopefully, I can multitask. Let's see. Um, so in this world, a person becomes a witch by making a pact with a demon to sacrifice humans uh, in exchange for magical power. I'll talk more about like why why Ellen made a pact with a demon to become a witch, but like apparently she's older than she looks, even though she's like like she might she might look like seven, but she's god knows how many years old. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange these. Okay, good. Press the switch on the frame. Uh, yeah, which is that's that's the thing. Um, I'm gonna sit Froggy down. Frog's gonna help us again. So sweet, so precious, so sweet. Cinnamon roll, Froggy. <coughs> okay, so we mirrored the room. Yay, mirrors. Um, okay, so Frog Frog comes with us. If we try to leave without Froggy in this room, like he'll hop up and down. Which diary? My father and my mother didn't love me, so I X them. You may have realized, but like, X in this game mean in this game means like eliminate or kill. I've been in this house ever since. Through the next door and let nothing distract you. Um, the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so Froggy, you like, you you're not allowed to leave that room without Froggy because he's gonna help you later. Okay, let nothing distract you. Basically, like, 
if you make even a single turn, even here. Now, I'm not sure if this works anymore, but last time I, I completed a no save run, I was allowed to go and, um, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see my finger. Last time I completed a no save run, I found out that you were allowed to explore this area with the cat, the bookshelf, and the diary, as long as you didn't read the note that says, let nothing distract you. But yeah, we're not doing no save run, and I read the note, so we're not risking that. If you go back in here, that room's, that hallway's gone. He's hungry. Boy, isn't this a lovely game? What time is it? Fuck, it's 9.40. Um, something's on the other side. Okay, look at the door. There's a view in the window. Look through window. Slimy black scales. Here's something big crawling. We're not going to open the door. Putting those clues together, something big, slimy black scales, crawling, I can only conclude that behind this door is a marmoset. It's a snake. So, if the snake is hungry, what do snakes like to eat? I'm sorry. Sorry. I always feel bad about this part. Okay. We're just gonna... Okay. Anyway, moving on. Feeling a little sad about that. Okay, you looked at me. Fuck you. Okay, statue, 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 statue. Thank you. Anyway. A cat statue. Kidding. Hey, don't ignore me. Okay, safe here. Cool. Huh. Okay. Go where only one eye is open. Okay. Not going in there. Not going in there. Can't go in there. So, one eye. Ta-da! If you go in the other ones, you're like immediately stabbed to death by spikes, which is what that changing noise is. Ah. Make sound in four rooms. Yo, this floor is pretty quiet. Okay, so we have to make sound in all these rooms, but if we do it wrong, then we might die. Okay, um... Da -da -da. Toy box won't open. Just diary. I X all the friends who came to my house after that. They were all eaten by the house. But it wasn't enough. Yeah, so like I said, this Ellen is a witch who is sacrificing people who ever came to her house. Which is how the rumors of the uh, witch's house in the woods started in this game. A small music box is missing his key. Um gonna go save really quickly. Toy soldier with a fake gun. Um, what was I saying about Ellen? What was I, what was I saying? Fuck. I guess I said all I wanted to say. Um, play the music box with 12. So if we play it without 12, which, which we'll find out what that is later, um... Okay, um, now if we try to leave the room... Okay, so technically that was the correct song, but it wasn't in the right key. Unless you play it with 12 as it says, it's not going to be in the right key and it counts as the wrong song. Fake gun, yeah right. Psh, fucking liar. So we have to find 12 and then make noise. Okay, so we got a piano here. You need not play. Well, let's give it a shot. Okay. I can hear one of my sweet mates in the bathroom. I'm, uh, 
just gonna keep talking. Um, let's see. Check out the shelves here. Read people of different eye colors. We know the following about women in this region in particular. A woman's eye color depends on her hair. The four hair colors are silver, black, gold, and red. The four eye colors are brown, green, blue, and red. Silver-haired women can have red eyes, and brown-haired women can have either blonde or red hair. So I figured this out a while ago, but basically by process of elimination, if we go in here, blue eyes see the score. So by process of elimination, if we examine all these women, the black-haired woman, the Mona Lisa look-alike, is the only one who can see the score. The others will actually show you paper in the wall as well, but you'll get sucked into the wall and just like, you, I mean, you'll die. It's a bad, it's a bad, it's a bad situation. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out, and then we're gonna run like fuck. I don't know how fuck runs. Okay, and tear it down. Perfect. Mm -hmm. If you hear background noises, that would be my sweet mate in the bathroom. I'm just going to ignore that. Um. Okay. Okay, so that counts as making sound in this room. Now you'll notice that... Okay, thank you. This candle is lit. It's lit! So as soon as we make sound in the other rooms... Okay, so this riddle's interesting. Um, I can be the sun, I can be sand, and I can be a bird. What am I? So the, an the possible answers are woman, man, um, clock, chair, plant, and mirror. Now I think we can conclude that the answer is neither woman nor man. I'm not entirely sure how a plant could be sand, sun, and bird. Even though a plant could be involved in all those, like a cactus and like plants used at photosynthesis and birds resting plants. Anyway, that's kind of silly, so. Um, chairs, yeah, that's that's silly. All, all those could be on it, except for the sun. Maybe? You can throw a chair into the sun, couldn't you? Maybe, if we had the right funding. Um, so a mirror can reflect all those things, but that's not the answer. The answer is actually a clock, because I can be what, a sun, sand, or a bird. An, uh, what's it called? A sundial, an hourglass, and a cuckoo clock. Sun, sand, and bird. So the answer is a clock. If you choose any of the others, you don't die, but you get thrown out of the room, and when you come back, it, the thing is disfigured somehow. Like, the woman and the man have, like, bloody faces, the plant's all dried up. It's not a good situation. Yeah. There we go. So we got a key. What the fuck was it? Got a queen key. Now, if you look at playing cards... I mean, just in general, not those ones. The queen is number 12 in the hierarchy. Okay, fuck you. Play the music box with 12. So if we use the queen key... Success! We also get a king key later, and that also causes death if you try to use it instead of the queen key. Uh, oh yeah, we got sheet music for the piano. Uh, we're gonna save again. My arm kind of hurts. So we place the sheet music on. Well, let's try playing it now. I love this, like, it's so much more violent than before. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I was planning to go out and get dinner after this. It's getting a little late, though. Might miss dinner hour. Okay, so we're gonna place this and then do nothing. I got the sheet music for this song. It's really nice. It's like super slow, but really nice. So we got a kinky. And we're gonna use that to create sound in the final room by using it to make the clock tick. Okay. Beautiful collection of lilies. Quite nice. I wonder what would happen if you used the queen key here. Never tried it. Probably die. 
Maybe the clock falls on you. Okay. Alright, sweet. Yep, okay. And heading out. Okay. A beautiful collection of uh, lilies. Save. Time for the next floor. Hello, sir. <laughs> See? You needed not play. You fucking taunting me. Okay. Um. My ring is not here. Uh, there it is. There's like a little crack in there. It's barely visible. I don't like illness. Because it kept me from going outside. Because it made no one love me. Okay, so I guess it's already talked about there, so that's why she made the pact with the demon to be a witch, because she was promised that with magical power, she could fi she could find a spell to cure her of her illness. And we'll learn more about that later. Fireplace, look inside. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part, so we have to go back downstairs for a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're back here. Uh, so what happens if we try to leave? <laughs> that happens. Um, okay, that won't open. Jesus. Okay, so we go back in here. Um, this room's changed a bit. Pause boiling, stop the fire. Heated pot, open lid. Okay, so there's something in there we need. We need the woman's ring. It got in there for some reason. But we can't search with our bare hands because it's too hot and that's just like, that's just nasty. So we're gonna look at a bunch of skeletons here. It's Brooke's family. Uh, chopsticks in the skeleton's rig. Perfect. Okay, gold chopsticks. Uh, I feel a sneeze coming on. I'm sorry if that happens. Hello, sir. Long cooking chopsticks. Awesome. Hello, sir. Good neighbor. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to uh, desecrate the dead. Yep. Um, put the chopsticks back in his ribs, because... Anywhere else results in death. I'm very tired. Okay, that's good. We're gonna run. Oh, the timer just makes it more tense. If you don't make it out in time, a knife, like, hovers by itself and kind of, uh, jabs you in a, well, I guess a knife throw. Alright, um, yeah, we already read that. And now we go back in here, and we give the lady her ring. Nice little proposal. This is my, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, anyway. Okay, and on to the death floor. Now this, this floor that we're approaching is actually quite pretty, thank you very much. And it's also like the most like creepiest. Okay, so put it there. Gotta put the dolls on their correct tables. Man, dolls just like, they almost like creep me out after playing Eve so much. Okay, we'll find the purple doll later. Thank you for looking at me. Ah, so many flowers and it's a garden, it's so pretty. In one of the earlier versions of this game, the one that I played before finding this, the texture for this was just like green, but now they changed it to this really pretty grass and it's awesome. How do you do? Quite well, thank you. You need something? Sure. There's nothing I can do for you. Be silent. Ah, that's right, I must warn you. Do not disturb the Keeper of Time. Thanks for the tip, Elder Tree. Grandpa. Grandpa Tree. He's Grandpa Tree. Okay, I can't get there yet. Uh, birdsy greenery. Right. Uh, talk 
at a glance. Okay, flower ladies are beautiful and can speak. These are their characteristics. The white flowers are the most beautiful of the garden. When touched by rain, all the other petals glow. The red grasses are knowledgeable, but they're always lying, so be careful when conversing with them. Grasses are not flowers, you fucking lying book. The yellow flowers are lovely to a fault. The pollen produced by these flowers is a strong medicine that can kill or give life. Wonderful. Um, can't open this. Wait, pitch black, okay. Medicine, right. <laughs> Someone's moaning inside. Should I, should I come back later? <laughs> Hey, Jack. We use hat cough. Medicine, you, got any. I don't. Oh, fuck you, Jack. Use that spit for something else, like wh like whatever you were doing before I came along. Metal bird cage. Um, okay. Bird's in there, but we can't free it yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's way darker over here than I remember. So we'll leave Jack to his own devices. Right, um... Um, she's such a nuisance. Without her, we'd be the most beautiful of the garden. You've got quite big arms. Is that a compliment? Won't somebody X that girl? If someone did, we'd share some of our wonderful pollen. Alright then. Let's see. There's a skull on the floor. Uh, there's a skull on the floor. Pick it up. Got a skull. Awesome. There's a blood stain now for some reason, and we're just gonna ignore that. Oh boy. X the flowers and you'll die too. That phrase always like stuck with me when I played this game, like, it's one of the first things I think of when I think of Witch's House. So we're gonna save this because we want to disturb the Keeper of Time and see what happens if we ignore Grandpa Tree's warning. Large clock. Time marches on. Gonna touch it. <laughs> Touching you. Nothing strikes you as particular. I love that. Okay, and we're gonna continue there. So, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, so we need to gather three more skulls. Let's see. And we also need to X the white flower to get the yellow flower's pollen. Yeah, um... So the red grasses are always lying. exactly remember how to solve that puzzle, but I think I remember how to X the white flowers, so we're gonna... Fuck. Really? Give me a sec, I need to plug in my computer. Okay, we're back. It would've been bad if my computer shut off in the middle of recording this. Um, yeah, so we're gathering skulls, and we need to X the white flower. I'm saving just in case I do it wrong. <sighs> there we go. If you do it wrong, you get stabbed through your ch your chest with a root. Take the powers, powers, F petal flowers, flower petals. <laughs> now that's mean. Um. Okay, so we have to show this to the yellow flowers. Skip this. Um. I promise. Here you are. Anyway. I wonder who was here. <laughs> I wonder who was here. Um, so that's the medicine. So if we give this to Jack over here. Um, Jack's still going at it. Um, hello, Jack. <laughs> um, yeah, you need better hobbies. What, do you need a sock or something? Alright, so we freed the bird. Okay, Jack, you need to quiet down over there. Um, let's see. Okay. Right, something to use the medicine. Hidden in the darkness. That's ominous as fuck. Okay, so this room is poisoned. We're gonna 
get out of here as quick as possible. Nothing aside. Skull in one of the doors. Take that really quick. Okay, take the bottle. And hurry out. That was close. We had one second left. I almost died today. I'm gonna go back and check really quick around here. Okay. So up there is poison, and we can't walk on it without the glass shoes. Which means we're gonna have to find the glass shoes elsewhere. Uh, got three skulls, good. We're on the right track. And now on to the scary skull room. <laughs> Water sealed by the skulls. Now you'd think this would kill you, but it doesn't. There's a skull. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a skull. Okay, so we have to place the skulls here. I think I remember what order they go in. Yeah, I totally got this. I remember I was watching someone else's playthrough of this game recently, and I think it was Jacksepticeye. He like he couldn't figure out like he got the right solution for the skulls, but it was like in the wrong way. <laughs> And I'm just like, well, okay, if you want to live your life that way. I mean, it was it was probably Jacksepticeye. It might have been Markiplier. One of those two. Um, got the lever. And we did it. Okay, so we got the water, and here comes another chase scene. Now here, you used to be able to go out that door and then immediately run right back in, but they changed it in this newer version so that you have to run around the skulls. So before you could kind of cheat your way, and I guess they just wanted to fix that. Um, so we got water right now. My dad is dead. My dad was eaten by a snake. You killed him. I'm sorry, I didn't want to, I had no fucking choice. If there was an ending where you could save the frog, I would pick that ending every time. But there isn't. It's a pretty linear game, honestly. Oh yeah, so we need to go back there and grab some water for the petals. Because if the thing is hidden in the darkness, we need something to see by, and the petals glow when you put them in water. Alright, bottle began emitting light, here we go. This part is actually kind of scary, but there's very little that can kill you in the room. There is one death, however, that I want to show you. Just because, like, not many people... A lot of people miss this death, and I think it's kind of neat or funny. Check up here. Um, look under the table. It's table. Okay, there's blood on there now. So if we look under this table, we find a wristwatch. Now, we're going to pick it up, and if you remember, Grandpa Tree told us not to disturb the uh, Keeper of Time. And <laughs> I forgot how creepy that was. So we go here. Oh. <laughs> I've never noticed that description before. It's just die. So that's creepy as fuck. So if we keep walking. I wonder if you can put the wristwatch back after you, after you do that. Okay, we're dead. Um, game over. Oh. Okay, we'll go back here and we won't die this time. Can't actually run in this place, I guess because it's so dark we don't want to miss our footing. Yeah, down there. Okay, hello friends. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seat all I was sleeping I saw you move! Okay, and... There! Got a jade pipe to smoke the... To smoke the medicine. Now in this scene... 
that guy's like gonna follow you everywhere. Oh yeah, it's down there. Okay. Why are both it? Why are both them open now? I remember they were purple in the earlier version I played. Don't know why they changed it to red. Okay. Just not gonna waste time and get the fuck out of here. You may notice that this passage is longer than you remembered. Drop the bottle and we're just gonna keep walking up. If you try to just like wait here, the guy doesn't actually kill you. It just like it's just like the atmosphere of it. So it's actually one of the scarier parts of the game if you're playing this for the first time. Okay. I can't go back in there without the bottle anyway, and we dropped it. Okay. What did we get? Oh yeah, we need to give Jade Pipe to Jack. So we go in here. The Art of Making Panties. To parents of a sick child. Dependence. What wonderful instructions. Um, mess of filthy sewing materials and cookware. Not entirely sure what this room is. I never did figure this out. Something wrapped in cloth. Hey! Wizard of Oz. Hey! You know, the Wizard of Oz, the original, uh, the book originally had the shoes, okay, being silver, but they changed it to red in the movie because color film was kind of new back then, and they wanted to show it off with the, like, bright red slippers. Or shoes, or, you know, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so... Oh yeah, we have to wash the shoes before we wear them, otherwise we're fucked. Your shoes died completely red. Washing away the blood the shoes become clear. Well, we kill the tackles. Um, three, two, one. Yeah, that's also really scary the first time around. Because, like, you... <laughs> the enemies, like, never come back in this game except for that guy. And we're walking. If we don't, like, start right away, we might lose. Just gotta keep walking, holding up, I'm holding up, not stopping. That's my own body on the floor, going to ignore that. That door is locked, or, no, it's not locked, but there's still poison in there, so we can't go in there. And we're safe. For now. <laughs> Desperately safe. Yo, what do you suppose a friend is? Oh yeah, I forgot to read the, read the witch's diary in the other room. Oh well. Um, it just talked about, like, Viola visiting the house and, like, she and Ellen became friends instead of Ellen killing her. Or, uh, sorry, Xing her. I didn't X her because she saved me from my sickness, so I made her my friend. How nice. Wait. <laughs> there used to be a puzzle in this room, like, you had to do a logic puzzle to figure out what the code was. But I guess they just changed that. Huh. There's a small bottle on the shelf. A cute little bottle. Okay. Awesome. Tourniquet. Sleeping pills and sedatives. Eye drops. Eye drops? Hello. Eye drops. Hmm. Headache medicine. Headache medicine. Third degree burn ointment. Probably. Nausea inducing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm filled with bones, okay. You have your filled with meat. You have your hobbies, I have mine. And we'll leave Jack to his own hobbies. Throat burning medicine. We're just gonna ignore that. Okay, pick this up and we're running. Whoops. <laughs> I fucked that up. Let's try again. So I guess we have to start from here. And we're running. If 
you stay in this room too long, as I found out during an attempt at a no-save run, you get killed by those monsters. They just come flying through the door. That was not a good day. I had to start that all over again. Okay, and we have the doll body here. So now we can put these... It's inorganic eyes stare at you. A doll dressed in purple, no head. Medicine that kills the witch's roses. Okay, so we're going to use this outside as soon as we can get outside. Okay, combine with the body, and yes, here we go. Bugs all over the place for some reason, squishing them, ew. Okay, this garden is dead. It was nice knowing you, Grandpa Tree. Um, okay, the tea's empty now. I wonder what happened to Jack. Okay. Mother abandoned me. Father didn't notice me. Hmm. Okay, there. See you later. Okay. What's that noise? Hello. Okay, touch it. The clock's munching on a flower. Move. That's a close one. Hex the flowers and you'll die too. I'm sorry, that phrase just sticks with me. So we're gonna put the, the dale here. Here we go. Oh boy. There's a hole. Descend. Really. We're getting really close to the end. As soon as I finish this, I'm gonna grab some dinner, because I'm pretty hungry. I've hardly eaten anything all day, honestly. Okay, there are bloodstains. That's always a good sign. Come to my room, the sign beckoned me. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I have to do this, I'm sorry. Um, now, as for why the cat died, the cat could actually talk and stuff because it was a demon possessing the body of the cat. The demon was the one that the witch Ellen made a pact with. You learn all this in the No Save Run version when you get more information. Which is why you had all those jute bags full of cats, because the cat's body can't last very long with the demon possessing it. So. Okay, it's gone. So the demon needed, like, as many cats as possible. Or, like, some kind of vessel to communicate. <laughs> this room looks pleasant. Anyway, so what's happening is the witch is dying, so the demon left because the witch can't keep the pact any longer. Or, you know, the witch's body is dying. Uh, mirrors popped up and show nothing. Good. That's good. Um, this looks like a great mess. Let's just... My sickness was going to kill me. So I took her body from her. I lived on in her body. That's fine, right? Because we're friends. She gave me her body. Because we're friends. So today, we should play some more. Right, Viola? <laughs> We're going to run. Well, I've been playing for almost an hour. Running, 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 running. Oh, good. We're back here. Okay. Gotta go. So, like I said, we have to grab this. So you might not be inclined to do that, because it makes the chase a little bit longer and a little bit trickier. But trust me, it's worth it to see the real ending. And let me tell you, I cried the first time I played this and I got the real ending. So upset. Okay, so we got the first half of our letter. Dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name is Ellen, right? I don't...
mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Have very nice. Her dad cares about us. Papa. Okay, so we have Ellen's knife from the house. And use the medicine bottle on the roses. One, two, three. Ah, finally. And it's raining. How oh, pleasant. Okay, we're just gonna get out of here. And three, two, one. Hey, I got it. I have some chocolate next to me right now, and it looks it's looking really good, but I don't want to like show the wrapping on the microwave. Microwave. <laughs> microphone. Okay, her eyes are mmm. Boy, you're stubborn. And we use the knife. How long are you going to chase me? You know that body won't last long. Hmm? Give it back? No way. This body hurts much less. You gave it to me in the first place. Why should I have to give it back? Right? Viola? You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I used my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day? <laughs> I guess I did say that. I was surprised you could trap me with my own power, but to no avail. After all, it's my house, yes? It wouldn't be killing me anytime soon. I was guided by that house all the way, so I was ensured to escape. Still not dead? I have to applaud your tenacity. Ah, could it be? Are you that worried about your father? Oh, I know. You and your father, Viola, a close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. A hunter, isn't he? And he even sent you that letter. What a good father. So then, I suppose you're worried about what'll happen when you're gone? It'll be just fine. I'll give him Viola's share of love. And I'll take her share of love, too. So, Viola? Viola, are you safe? Are you hurt anywhere? What? Why? Stay away, monster! And that was the witch's house. So just to like, quick quick explanation, like just in case anybody's still confused. So Ellen is a little girl, she was like neglected by her family, and oh hey kitty, um, and she was sick. I'm guessing she lived in a time where sickness was more common. It's like never said how old she is, I think. So like, she made a pact with the demon to, yep, title screen, she made a pact with the demon to cure her sickness and sacrificed her mother and father as it said in the newspaper article. Um, and she lived in the house ever since, working to find a spell to cure her sickness and constantly giving human sacrifices to the demon, who kept using the body of cats, which is why the, all those jute bags were filled with cats. And 
that was in order so that was in order for her to keep her power, stay alive, stay a witch, and find a spell to cure her permanently. Now, when Viola came along, I guess I'm not sure what happened, but they somehow became friends instead of uh, Ellen Xing her like the others. So what happened was, well, I guess friends is in quotes here because Ellen really just wanted to use her and make her trust her. So Viola knew what constant pain Ellen was, like she could hardly move from her bed and stuff. So one day, Ellen convinced- now this is all information you find out in the no-save run-in and bonus material. Um, one day, Ellen convinced Viola to try a body-switching spell because Viola knew of Ellen's magic. And Viola was like, yeah, because she knew what pain Ellen was in, and she wanted to like relieve her of that pain at least for one day. So what happened was, Ellen gave herself throat-burning medicine and gouged out her own eyes before performing the spell. So Viola was helpless, unable to cry out for help, and unable to see. And I believe she also cut off her own legs with a tourniquet. Um, so Ellen, in Viola's body, goes outside to take a nap, but Viola manages to use Ellen's own magic against her to trap her in the forest with the roses, so, and try to use, like, house puzzles against her. But Ellen, as the player, fi figures all this out, and eventually vanquishes Viola in her own body, and presumably she just lives on forever in Viola's body. With Viola's father, I'm ready to cry again, this is so fun and sad. Um, so yeah, that was The Witch's House, great story, like, really, I, I really like the graphics in this game, Fummy did a good job with this, and the soundtrack's, soundtrack is gorgeous. <sighs> I'm really tired, I... I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'll see you guys another time.